journey to the outer spaces, mastering outside in English. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another exciting lesson on prepositions of place. Today, we are going to focus on an interesting topic. The usage of the preposition outside for not enclosed spaces. Remember, the more accurately you use prepositions, the more proficient your English will sound. So, let's get started. The preposition outside generally refers to a location that is not inside something. When we talk about enclosed spaces like a building, room, or box, the concept is pretty straightforward. But what about not enclosed spaces? How do we use outside then? Well, we can still use outside to refer to areas not confined within a boundary or limit. Let's dive deeper into this. When we say not enclosed spaces, we mean areas that do not have clear physical boundaries, like a city, country, or a specific zone. You might wonder, how can something be outside these areas if there's no boundary to step out of? That's where the beauty of language comes in. In English, when we use outside for these broader, not enclosed spaces, we are referring to being beyond the scope, range, or domain of these areas. Let's look at some examples. The picnic spot is outside the city. Even though a city doesn't have a physical boundary like a wall or fence, we understand that the picnic spot is beyond the city's domain or general area. The company has branches outside the country. Again, this doesn't mean the branches are floating in the ocean. It just means the branches are located in different countries, beyond the scope of the original country. To solidify your understanding, Let's practice with some more examples. When you hear each sentence, try to visualize what outside is referring to. Their research is well known outside the academic community. Here, outside refers to people or areas beyond the domain of academia. Wildlife thrives outside protected areas. This means wildlife is thriving in places not designated as protected zones. Try to use outside in this way in your daily conversations or writing practice. Remember, practice is the key to mastering prepositions. And that's a wrap for today's lesson on using outside for not enclosed spaces. I hope you found it helpful and interesting. Using prepositions accurately can be a challenge, but with practice and patience, you'll surely master them. Until next time, keep practicing and stay curious about the English language. Happy learning!